Hey guys, Jake from Revolving Daily, and today I want to show you a product that I have tested a little bit, tried out a little bit, and it's it's working as advertised and better than I thought it would in some aspects. I guess I could have taken it off before I start a video, but ankle medical kits. They're a thing now. They've been a thing for a year, two, five, 17, I don't know. But um, I looked at them. I kind of wanted one, but I'm a big dude. I've been fat forever, so I have big, huge calves, and I have pretty big ankles, and I wear boots a lot, and this and that. So there was a lot of reasons where I thought, well, they might not be big enough to go all the way around, or they might be really tight or cumbersome, or where my calves are already big, and then put this stuff on, it'll be really visible, or it'll cause my pants to ride up, and then I, what, for whatever reason, I hem hauled around and didn't try one for a long time. <laughs> what I do want to tell you up front, before anything, this was free to me. The company, uh, Lynx Defense, I'll try to, hopefully that focuses, but um, they reached out to me in video and said, hey, you do medical shit and carry medical shit. Try one of these out, tell us what you think. And they didn't say, you have to make a video or you have to do a review. They sent it to me saying, if I remember correctly, but I'm pretty sure, Try it out. Tell us what you would add, subtract, change, alter, this, that, or the other. So, I've been carrying it for a few months. Not every day for a little while. I was carrying it uh, probably every other day just because it was a new thing and I forgot to put it on in the morning. But guys, I'm, I'm a believer now. So, I do have big legs. This thing is big enough to accommodate me. Like most socks are super fucking tight on my calves just because I have great big legs. But I would estimate that it still goes to about there whenever I have it on. And it's not super tight. Um, if I over tighten it, just like for some reason throw it on real tight in the morning, I'll get a little, not numbness, but an abnormal sensation in my foot. So, but with it at the correct where it doesn't make me numb or anything, at the correct tightness, uh, it's never came off. It's it doesn't really it doesn't move around as much as I thought it would. I thought the the this part of the velcro that doesn't get made it up with the other. I thought that might scratch me and rub me and and be uh, an annoyance. And it's it's not. It's not even noticeable. The stitching I I looked around at it a little bit last night because I was finally like, man, I forgot. I've been wearing that thing and I forgot to talk about it or do a review or, or email them back, which I need still need to fucking do. It's a comfortable piece of gear. Um, and I, ha I have no problems wearing it every day. I can't find any stitching that's came out. I can't find any place where it's wearing more or less than others. It seems like it's going to hold up pretty good. And so after they sent it to me, I checked the price. I'll put the price below. I'm pretty sure it was around like $27, which is very inexpensive when you start looking at some of these. And different ones have different features and more pockets and different this is and that's. But for like 27 bucks, if you're thinking about maybe an ankle medical kit, that's it. Now, I'll probably make a short video and a long video because I, I, I tend to ramble. Now we'll take a look at the actual bits and pieces and parts. So anytime you're, I should have said this earlier, anytime you're going to add anything to your carry stuff, whether it's a gun or a knife or a flashlight or medical stuff, still carry your other shit until you prove the thing you bought. Does that make sense? I know you're thinking, well, I could buy this thing and as soon as I get it, I could sell the other stuff and that make it cheaper. Don't. Keep the stuff you carry now. Carry it until you prove that this thing is going to the new thing is going to be the way you think. Then later on, when you when you have proven that, instead of selling the other stuff, put it away as your backup in case this gets damaged or lost or stolen or whatever. You still have your old setup that you can just. Now I said that they sent it to me for free, and that influences my review and this and that and the other. I will be buying two more of these. Two, uh, one because I'm probably going to wear one on each ankle. And then one at the house as a backup in case one's damaged or whatever. Because if you get to a real hairy medical whatever, 
I'm not going to pick stuff out of my ankle and use it. I'm probably going to tear this thing off, throw it down, use the shit on the person, and this thing is going to be laying in broken glass or blood or mud or gasoline, diesel fuel, whatever. It's going to be in things to where I'm not picking that bitch back up. I'm just going to put it in a trash bag and it's dead forever. So that's why, and I will be buying two from this company because I believe in their product now. I've used it. I beat it up. And I don't, I don't like work in an office. Nothing against that, but I don't work in an office or live in a concrete jungle or anything. This thing has had mud and sweat and dirt and shit all over it. And it almost self cleans. Like, yeah, you can tell it's dirty. But wiped it down with a rag a couple times when it was really covered in mud. And I, I, I'm not having any issues with it. So, as far as the actual product itself, I should have measured it. It is about uh, 17 inches tip to tip, something around there. So, 8, 8, 17 ish inches long. Um, it has four pockets. So two that have Velcro closures and there's a little cool shit, you know, female Velcro so where you could put patches and whatever. So it's gonna be loud. Different pouches, two big ones. Um, I'll do a video of why there's duct tape on the product itself. That one needs replaced. That's a that's a thing you should do, and I'll show you why in another video. I'll try to link it below, but I'll always forget. So, the lid is adjustable, and the lid kind of is the bottom as well. So, if you grab that lid and pull it real quick, whatever's in there might tumble out, which is a good thing, or could be a hindrance. Uh, it's stretchy material, so it kind of goes with whatever you put in it. This one, this was, this is not a training tourniquet, but this is kind of my proving ground tourniquet. So... I will be ditching all the stuff that I still carry like normal and going to just this, but this will be in like a vacuum sealed, this tourniquet will. A full size tourniquet, it will be set up a little bit better, but it will be vacuum sealed. It goes in there, the windlass doesn't poke me or stick out or anything like that. Um, and then some rolled gauze, an NPA, and a dart, a chest decompression needle. So all these pouches are stretchy-ish material. Uh, they have open bottoms, which I think, not open, but there are places on the bottom for things to get out, which to me would seems good because dirt would filter its way out, but not the stuff you put in it. Another Velcro and stretchy. Uh, there's other, other uh, ankle kits that have like a sleeve that goes through here that you can put like chest seals and stuff in and there, there's a million different versions, but I can say that Lynx Defense um, holds up. It has enough storage on it for me, but I'm probably going to do one on one leg, one on the other, just because I carry probably, even if people carry medical gear, I probably carry like, fuck, what do you need all that for? I've been in, I'm not saying that I'm super tactical and, you know, I've been to some hairy fucking car wrecks and, uh, some collapses and just people get hurt weird fucking ways and a lot of times when somebody gets hurt in a weird way either they have multiple injuries or there's multiple people injured so and there was a pair of gloves in there but I made another video about glove things anyhow that's not what I'm saying you should put in this kit that's what I had in it to test it because I wanted to see if the paper material would get worn out and open up and all those things that you do with things and things. This is probably a long enough video that no one's going to click on it. But Link's Defense, thumbs up. It kept all my shit relatively clean. Cleaner than I thought it would. There's enough room in there. It's durable enough for me to carry it and I'm rough on shit. I break stuff all the time. I've, of the two big, like, flashlight companies that you think are good ones and good to go and you can't beat them up, I've broken both of them. Uh, but yeah, 
I'm going to order two more, and I will pay money for them. This one was free, but I will. That's how much I like the product, that I, I'm going to spend my money on two more of them. If it's something that you've thought about, 27 I think, dollars, and you can play with it and fondle it and tickle it yourself and see if it suits your fancy. But guys, I appreciate you watching. More for less YouTube. And I, there's too many goddamn names and symbols and acronyms and platforms and evolving daily and more for less. Search those and you'll find all the fucking things that I'm on. I appreciate you watching. Just remember you need to be prepared to thrive while others survive. Thanks.